In using QGIS to draft a map, there are four fundamental matters that you need to be familiar with. How to obtain and store publicly available map data that you can use to provide geographical context for your map. How to create and save a new map project. How to add vector and raster data layers to the project. And how to set the coordinate reference system of the map project. The most useful publicly available data for small scale mapping is that provided by the Natural Earth Project, which provides data suitable for mapping at scales of 1 to 10, 1 to 50 and 1 to 110 million. For many small scale maps, such as that of a country, the 1 to 10 million scale data will be suitable for the main map and the 1 to 50 million data for a regional inset map. From Natural Earth, get the data. Choose the scale of the data you wish to download. I want the cultural data at the scale of 1 to 10 million. And then select the theme that you require. I'm going to download the country's theme. Now Natural Earth data are provided as zip files, which you need to save and then unzip to a suitable location. It's best to use a location not associated with a particular project, as you'll probably use the data for more than one map. I've previously downloaded the zip files to a folder which I've simply called GIS data. I'll switch to it now. Extracting the data directly to this folder will ensure that the subfolder has the original name. Now I also want 1 to 10 million scale raster data. I'm going to download the cross blended hypsometric hypsometric tints data and I want the version that has shaded relief water and drainages. I've previously downloaded the zip file so I've just switched to it and I'll extract it in the same way as we did previously with the vector data. Now I'm going to create a new project in QGIS. If you need to, click the new icon to produce a blank project. And now I can add some map layers. Firstly, let's add a vector layer. Click the Add Vector Layer button and browse to the QGIS data folder and choose the file that ends in SHP. This is a shape file. Open it, open again, and there's a map of the world. To make the map transparent, right click on the layer in the Layers panel, Properties, Simple Fill, choose Transparent Fill, and OK. Now I'm going to add a raster layer. We do this in a similar way, using the Add Raster Layer button. Browse to the GIS data folder that has where we've extracted the raster data and we want the TIF file. Here it is. Open it and there's a map of the world. But we can't see the country boundaries. We need to reorder them in the layers panel. And now we can see the country boundaries. If you want to zoom in on a particular country, you can use the pan map, zoom in and zoom out buttons. I'll choose zoom in to begin with and I'm going to zoom in to Zambia. And I can pan it a little bit to center Zambia on my screen more or less. There we go. The map does not yet have a projection. It's simply um, in WGS 84 that it's in that is it's in latitude and longitude. Click this CRS or coordinate reference system button in the bottom right hand corner enable on the fly transformation and then choose the coordinate reference system in the window below that you want to apply to this map. The Universal Transverse Mercator projection is probably the most useful for a country scale map. Now I know that Zambia is in zone 36 south and as I previously used it it appears in the box above. It's WGS 84 slash UTM zone 36S. OK, and now the map is projected.